Good morning. This is Dr. Sheila. I am out in Scooter's enclosure this morning. He is wandering all over the place. If you hear some noises over here, this is him just bumping into the sides. He is going all over the place. He's walking around the perimeter, which they do quite often. He is uh, getting into his water bowl. He's going in and out of his igloo. He's going over some uh, round posts that we have cut up. Uh, I think he's moved the ball around even. So he's being extremely active. It's a lot warmer today than it was yesterday. And his body temperature is nice and warm. So <laughs> he's enjoying everything. He's over here eating some hay right now. Got my dog and some other animals in the background here. So I'm going to show you some of his activity this morning. So if you enjoy these videos, be sure to like and subscribe. And I will be glad to continue these. Uh, it's so much fun showing you what Scooter is doing and what my other animals here on the Funny Farm are doing. Thank you so much. Hey, Scooter, what do you think about this? Oh, come right up here. Oh, hi there, big boy. Hello there. Are you coming to see me? Are you coming to see me? Oh, hi there. Hi there. How about a little bit of hay? Do you want some hay? I bet you've eaten plenty of that. Look at you coming out. Look at you coming out in the sunshine. Oh. How do you like your pen? Oh, we have worked and worked on this, trying to think of everything that you might like. I think you like it. Look at you. We put some round fence posts right over there because we hear that tortoises like to climb. Let's see if you'd like to climb over those. I am so thrilled you're out walking around. You have some donkeys over there. Look at you. You came out and got a drink out of your water bowl. We have some girls over here in the background. <laughs> so if you hear some screams, that's what that's about. <laughs> They're having a good time out in the pasture. They don't know I snuck out here. They've already been out checking Scooter out this morning. Oh, look at him. Oh, let's see if he's going to get on these these the, these are fence posts and we've cut them off into different pieces oh he's just moving around great hi big guy hey scooter i've had a, a lot of you comment I was talking about maybe getting Scooter a new name because he rose from the ashes. And a lot of you agree that Phoenix is a great name for this guy because he rose from the ashes. So how about Scooter Phoenix? Scooter Phoenix. Oh, he's just coming right up to me. Hey, big boy. Oh, what a beautiful head. Hey, Scooter. Hey, Scooter Phoenix. Why? Why? Oh, look at that. You're not camera shy a bit, are you? You're not camera shy a bit. Well, hi. <laughs> hi there. Hi there, gorgeous boy. Hi there, gorgeous boy. Oh, oh, you can step on me. That's okay. I've had a donkey step on me. I've had a horse step on me. Well, hi. 
I don't think you can get on that side of my chair. <laughs> hey there, big boy. Hey there, big boy. I came out late last night around oh, 09. Stayed out till about 10 making sure he was nice and warm. I had to call my husband out to help get this 100 pound beauty into his igloo because he was outside under the heat lamp and I used my little laser thermometer and he just wasn't as warm as I wanted him to be. So my husband lifted him up and put him inside his house I have a reptile heating mat inside and Scooter warmed up some, then he adjusted himself and the mat is rectangular. So Scooter uh, adjusted himself where he was completely on that mat and uh, he warmed up nicely. The mat uh, runs about 85 degrees. There go the girls again. <laughs> I'll have to call them over pretty soon. Because the sewer, uh, scooter wasn't out roaming around like this earlier. Let me get up closer. There, that'll get some of that glare off. Oh, are you exploring your, your house here? Are you exploring all around? Oh, wait until you, we get you into the big old barnyard. I've read that they like to go around the entire perimeter and that they'll wear a little path around. There you go. Look at these big old back legs. The elephant-like back legs. I knew that was going over. <laughs> Knock my chair over. Yeah, I'm going to have to make something to hang that chair on. I can't get on the ground with you. No, I can't. Okay, so there we go now. That was a donkey. Bring. Hi, donkeys. Hi, donkeys. They were looking in yesterday to see what new animal we brought in. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. How you doing? They're always very inquisitive. Oh, <laughs> one of the girls took off <laughs> in the golf cart, left the other one behind. <laughs> oh, they're so rotten. Hey guys. Hey big guy. Oh, I saw you wink at me. I saw you wink, are you flirting with me? Are you flirting with me? I think you're flirting. I think you're a big flirt. Are you a big flirt? How about this? How about this? Girl said that he danced this morning. Let me get the brush so I can really give him a good scratch and see if he will dance. Hey, Scooter. How about some... Does that feel good?
Oh, oh, this feels so good. This apparently feels great to them. They have their shell scratched. We'll call this a shell, even though the shell was burned off and this is bone. This is kind of a soft bristle brush. Does that feel good, big boy? Does that feel good? No dancing for me right now. He has lots of hay. They eat hay and lots of grasses. There's some other things that they eat that are good for him. He only gets things that are good for him. Oh, I spot his water bowl right over here. And I think he has pooed in his water bowl. Oh, he pooed in his water bowl. Well, we'll have to clean that out. They just poo in the water bowls. Oh, and look what he did. He might have brought his ball over. I'll have to ask the girls if they brought that over. I have this heat lamp out here. And then I have that reptile heating mat inside. What you doing in the corner over there? You're gonna have to turn around. You're gonna have to turn around. There's too much light over there. I'm gonna have to close that in because he will try to escape out that. You want to have everything blocked where they can't see out. So a couple of feet up and we'll have a little bit of work to do. Well, he gave that up pretty fast. Okay. Okay, Mr. Beautiful. Okay, Mr. Beautiful. Come on back here. You see the concrete pavers right down here so that he can keep his little beak uh, scratched off as he eats. Uh, we don't want him eating off the ground. We don't want him eating dirt or stones and keep his little toenail shaved off so we don't have to take him to the, the pedicurist. I don't think they would uh, take in the tortoise. I don't think he'd reach down into the, the pedicure bowl. I don't think he'd sit still for it, but he, he is getting royal treatment and he will continue to get royal treatment. If you have any ideas on anything else I can do for Scooter Phoenix, give me a comment. I want to do everything I can do to make this special needs tortoise have the happiest life that he can possibly have. He's not going to get fruits. I'm not going to give him treats like that. He doesn't need treats. They're not healthy for him. So nothing like that. Uh, he might like them, but they're not healthy. So he's not going to get anything healthy. Uh, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's unhealthy. He's only going to get healthy things. Uh, he's going to get moisturizers on that shell because... Um, it's very dry because it is it's bone so he's going to get moisturizers on that i have uh, coconut oil right now i bought some big bottles of it for him uh, we're going to apply that a couple of times a week uh, i can also apply aloe on that uh, but uh, i have the girls uh, painting pictures tortoise pictures Scooter Phoenix pictures and uh, after we get this painted we're going to paint the bottom of the pen brown and then up higher we're going to paint it sky like 
and put uh, paint pictures of the sun and pictures of trees and uh, flowers and just make this beautiful inside. Um, he won't know what it looks like, but we'll know what it looks like. It's just going to be beautiful. Uh, the girls are little artists and I already have one picture that they painted of him and it's absolutely darling. I'm going to waterproof the pictures and put them in his pen. I'll, I'll put them under the, uh, in the shed area under the roof, the roof and uh, keep them out of rain, but I'm going to waterproof them and we'll have little paintings in here. Uh, but if you can think of something that we can do in his area or something for Scooter to make his life better, uh, leave a comment. Uh, leave me a comment. I look for comments every day and I love talking to you guys uh, no matter what. Tell me tell me what you think. I, I want to do as much as I can for my animals, no matter if it's uh, Scooter Phoenix or any of the other animals. I try to do everything I can for them to give them a good life. Oh, and they give so much back. They give me so much more than I can ever give them. Makes my life so full. And I hope that they understand that I'm giving them everything that I can give them too. I sure do love these critters. And Scooter, you have no idea how much you are loved already. You, <laughs> and here he comes again. You come on over here. You come on over here. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Yes, you big old beautiful guy. All right. Give me some comments. Let's talk. Let's talk to each other. And I'll, I'll post scooter videos let's keep up with scooter uh, this right here i am so happy so for now i'm gonna give you this this video and and uh we'll keep you posted on this big old guy <laughs> this big old dinosaur of a tortoise <laughs> who is just roaming his enclosure like a big old guy say bye say bye scooter phoenix